All right, guys, what's going on? Um, well, this video is for these two files right here, which I will explain in a moment. Um, this is the release for 660ME 1.3. This is the newest and latest update for ME custom firmwares on 660. And uh, also you have the 660 Lite custom firmware ME 1.3 that has been released as well. And uh, basically I'm just going to show you what firmware I'm running right now. And the firmware that I so happen to be on is 6.60 ME 1.2. This is the hard custom firmware on a PSP. 2000 model now the hard custom firmware which is this file right here and I will have the links posted in the information below this video for you um, the hard custom firmware is for PSP 1000 and 2000 models version 1 and uh, the light custom firmware is for PSP 2000 version 2 3000 and PSP go so I will have these links underneath the video as explained and uh, without further ado let's get to business so um, basically uh, whatever one you download you're just gonna well you know what I'll do something different we're gonna go over the hard custom firmware first which is just regular basic firmware for the 1000 and 2000 version 1 models so open up your release 660ME13 so either right click on that and say extract files to and extract it to your desktop or just double click and open that up if you have an extraction program like I do I use WinRAR which is fairly nice. So you're going to see the release 660ME folder. What you're going to do is double click on that and open that up. You're going to see an LEDA folder, a translate folder, update folder, and a readme text and a readme text in Japanese. Open up the update folder and you should see an eboot. And if you know what we're going to do next is basically this. So um, one of two things. If you're running ME custom firmware 660 or any 660 custom firmware, you can just simply drag and drop the update folder and that's that. So let's get down to what I'm talking about by uh, connecting this into USB like so. I'm going to exit out of that so it shuts down the remote joy. So we can pick this up here. Exit this out. So go to start and your computer and open up your removal drive for the PSP. Now what you're going to do is first things first we're going to take a look at the LEDA folder. What you're going to do is take the open that up and you're going to see the LEDA PRX and the readme text document. What you're going to do is if you haven't already on the root of your memory stick right click and select new and select folder and rename that folder SE plugins. If you already have that just open that up. After you make it open it up now what you're going to do is drag and drop that LEDA PRX into the SE plugins folder. Now if you've done this already with previous ME firmwares, move and replace that file. Now what you're going to do is simply go into the game text document. If you don't have a game text document, right click again and select new and text document right here and you're going to call it game all in capital letters or all in lowercase letters, it doesn't matter, and open that up. And what you're going to want to type inside it is this. Now if you have LEDA previously, you're not going to have to do this, just double check and make sure it's there, but you're going to write ms0 colon slash se plugins slash LEDA dot PRX space one. Once you're done with that, exit that and save it. And then let's move on to the next segment. So go back to your memory stick root and open up the PSP folder and then open up the regular game folder. Now what you're going to do there is go back to your extracted files and locate the update folder and drag and drop that into the PSP game folder. So you drag and drop that into the PSP game folder and that's that. Now if this is the first time you're installing 660 custom firmware, let's say you're on 6.39, no biggie. Download the official firmware. Uh, 660.pbp that I will have a link to. It'll say official firmware, abbreviated OFW, and just download that and drag and drop that PBP renamed as 660.pbp. It should automatically be renamed for you. Um, and just drag and drop that into this update folder inside the PSP game folder with the custom firmware eboot. This is very much like M33 custom firmware. So once you've done that, whether or not it be your first install or you're just updating your ME firmware, exit out of the memory stick and exit out of the extracted files. Now, 
and then you would exit USB mode. Now, let's take a look at the Lite Custom Firmware files. You're going to extract the files or open them up, and you're going to see the release 660LME. Double click on that, and you're going to see the LEDA and the PSP folder and a translate and a readme folder. Open up the PSP, you will see game and the installer and launcher. What you're going to do is you're going to run the installer first. You're going to put this in the game folder, as you can see, because that's the directory. And you will see the launcher right here. Then you're going to use the launcher after the installer. Now, I'm not going to be able to do this on my PSP 2000. I will make a video using a PSP Go soon to come. Now, the LEDA folder, you're going to see an LEDA.PRX. What you're going to do is you're going to make an SE plugins folder on the memory stick root. Then you're also going to drag and drop that LEDA into that SE plugins folder. Now, if it's on a memory stick that you're doing this off of, it will be ms0 colon slash SE plugins slash LEDA.PRX space one. If you're doing it on the internal device, it will be EF0 colon slash SE plugins slash LEDA.PRX. So make sure you get that right. I will have that explained in the text below. And uh, I'm actually getting a PSP Go next week, so I will remake this video for the PSP Go with Remote Joy and everything powered up so you can see what I'm going on and going through. So more video on the PSP Go and 3000s. Um, so, but as of right now, we're on the hard custom firmware, so what you're going to do now is exit USB mode. I'm going to unplug this nice little thing here and reset the device so I can show you what's going on with the Remote Joy here that I have nicely set up. So I'm going to reboot this device here plug this back in so you can see what's going on so uh, basically what I'm just gonna do right now is just double check the firmware for you guys so you can see what I'm running 660 ME 1.2 that's what I'm running on and come over to the game section and go to the memory stick and you should see the minimum edition 660 update this is what you're looking for so basically what you're gonna do is start that up so I'm just gonna unplug this really quick and start that up so I don't have any trouble with the remote joy so I'm gonna let that boot up as you can see that's what I'm doing if you can see me in the corner down here and uh, so once that boots up you're going to see this so give me one second <sighs> why do you do that recovery menu unless this isn't responding <laughs> Don't check that. Um, um, um. Oh, okay. Hold on one second. <sighs> I hate when this shit happens. Yeah, I know the update was canceled by using your dumbass. Plugins manager. BSH. It's enabled. Okay. It's weird. Maybe if I reset the device. Wait one moment. Little technical difficulty with the remote joy, but I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So, uh, that out a little bit. Start that up. Start the update again. Let's try this again. Booting again. Why does it not fucking work? Oh boy. Alright. Hold on. Okay, so apparently Remote Joy doesn't want to work with the update. So I'm just going to read you on through it like I usually do. So, connecting. Of course, it works now. So, game, and let's go start this updater. Minimum edition update version 6.60. Start that up. Maybe by far chance it might work this time. Do 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 do. Nope, guess not. Welp. All right, custom firmware 6.60 installer for hackable PSP by Neuron changes added backup or restore net configuration option in recovery menu. 
block the BSH menu while using Remote Play, Skype, One Segment, and PSN Store. Press X to start the update. So hit X, run the update. It's going to verify the install, the IPL, and it's going to flash a whole bunch of shit in the flash zero, and it will restart in six seconds after it's done. So just wait for it to reboot yourself. Okay, now, now that that's over and done with, you can go to your system settings, and we can scroll down here to system information, and you will see 6.60 ME 1.3 as your custom firmware. So that's your update on PSP 2000. I will have a video for the 2000 version 2, 3000, and Go coming up soon. Be sure to check out my website and blog and also follow that blog if you have a Google account. That would be very nice. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this custom firmware and more videos coming your way. The review will be in this video. Uh, the annotation should be right there in the top left corner of the video for this right now. So click right there if you want to review this firmware and see what I'm getting at before you install it. And also in the review video, the annotation will be there for you guys to lead to this tutorial so you can install it and enjoy the custom firmware. So again, thanks again. Website blog, pretty beast. Take it easy guys. Talk to you later. Enjoy your firmware.